good morning students today we are going to discuss about module number 1 that is basic concepts here we are going to discuss about the topic concept of ideal and practical sources and energy sources so let us discuss about that concept of an ideal and practical voltage sources first of all here the word ideal which is used generally only for theoretical purpose not for practical purpose so as you know that very clear we have the sources so these sources are of two types one is ideal voltage source or ideal current source practical voltage source or practical current source let us discuss about how it is differed from ideal voltage source to practical voltage sources for example here i am showing that the figure here so the figure what i am showing here it is a ideal voltage source how i can say that it is a ideal voltage source because an ideal voltage source is nothing but one voltage source value whose value is equal to according to our arbitrarily what we are going to select the voltage at this case but uh, this ideal voltage sources does not have any internal resistance or source resistance the source resistance or internal resistance for ideal voltage source value should be equal to zero if it is equal to zero then whatever the voltage source value we are assume here as a voltage source the same voltage is obtained across the output terminals so output voltage is equal to source voltage for an ideal voltage sources let us examine how it is differed with the practical voltage sources so now we are going to compare that ideal voltage sources and practical voltage sources as we know that an ideal voltage source is symbolically represented with a voltage source symbol vs whose value is equal to whatever we are going to take as an arbitrary value and this is that symbolic representation of ideal voltage source for an ideal voltage source the source resistance or internal resistance of the source that rs value is equal to zero now let me check that how it is differed with the practical voltage sources for practical voltage sources the voltage source value is represented with vs and whose internal resistance is represented with rs and it is also called as source resistance called rs so if a voltage source which have that internal resistance and it is connected in series along with it and symbolically it is represented as shown in this figure so this is the figure where we are covered with a dotted line where we are showing that symbolic representation of practical voltage source so every practical voltage source having its source resistance value that is rs or it is also called as internal resistance which is connected in series along with the voltage source value vs now let me tell what is that v output voltage for this practical voltage sources for this practical voltage sources the output voltage value v output is equal to source voltage minus its voltage drop across the source resistance that means the output voltage is not equal to the source voltage the output voltage is equal to source voltage minus voltage drop across the source resistance so if it is like that then if you draw that its characteristics if you draw the characteristics for both ideal voltage sources and practical voltage source ideal voltage source for an ideal voltage source whose voltage magnitude is represented with a dotted line at here that is the voltage across the terminals a and b but a practical voltage source but a practical voltage source with respect to the time at x axis if you see the practical voltage source value that is output voltage which is not straight line like a ideal voltage source value it is somewhat bend from its starting value this is for practical voltage source why the difference is existed between ideal voltage source value and practical voltage source the difference which is existed like 
practical voltage source magnitude has been decreases as time increases but ideal voltage source value whose magnitude is always constant even though the time changes at x axis that means there is a internal voltage drop across the source for practical sources but there is no any internal voltage drop for ideal sources so the characteristics between that ideal and practical voltage sources which address a difference in terms of magnitude it's because of voltage drop across its source resistance or internal resistance of the practical voltage source this is that uh, characteristics of a ideal and practical voltage source let us discuss about the same concept with respect to current source that is ideal and practical current sources if we discuss about that ideal and practical current sources very clear similar to voltage sources an ideal current source having that only the current source value that is is it does not have any internal resistance the internal resistance of ideal current source that value is equal to zero then the output voltage the output voltage of ideal current source which is zero because the internal resistance is zero here or otherwise the output current of ideal source is equal to output current of ideal source i not is equal to is because there is no any changes because no internal resistance or there is no source resistance let me check the same concept with ideal practical sources ideal sorry practical current sources if you see that practical current sources here a practical current source having internal resistance that is rs or rp practical source resistance or some we can follow the terminology either rs or either rp rp or rs having that same meaning that is rp stands on practical source resistance or source internal resistance rs so if there is a source internal resistance which is represented with rs or rp now let me tell that what is that it output voltage or what is its output current the output current in ideal case that is i not is equal to is but in practical but in practical current source the output current i not is equal to is minus ir that is drop across that internal resistance of the current source therefore ideal source is different with a practical source therefore there is a change in magnitude that we can see in terms of characteristics in this characteristics here we have taken that current magnitude on y axis and we have taken that voltage at x axis between this iv characteristics if you draw for an ideal current source whose magnitude is constant but for practical current source whose magnitude is decreases as by increasing the voltage it's because of drop across the practical resistance or source resistance next energy sources as we know that very clear the definition of energy 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 is equal power into time according to electrical engineering energy neither be created nor be destroyed but it can be transferred from one form into another form a stored potential a stored a stored potential energy is called as a stored potential work is called as an energy therefore energy sources has been classified as two types one is called as direct current source another one is called alternating current source direct current sources are again classified as independent voltage and current sources dependent voltage and current sources again dependent voltage and current sources has been classified as four types they are called as voltage control voltage source vcvs voltage control current source vccs current control voltage source ccvs current control current source that is triple cs therefore these kind of sources we are using based upon our requirement as per our wish and independent sources has been 
express with uh, the symbols which has been represented this is the independent dc voltage source this is an independent dc voltage this is an independent ac voltage source this is an independent current source but dependent sources has been expressed in a in the shape of dependent sources has been expressed in the shape of diamond shape symbol if it is expressed with plus and minus it is a source or if it is expressed with direction of current source it is a dependent current source so dependent voltage sources or dependent current sources has been expressed with a diamond shape symbols therefore there are four types of dependent current sources as we discussed just now like the first one is called as here what we are showing this is figure a this is a actually current source and again k is multiplied with ix so it is called as a current controlled current source and the next figure b it is a current source but g is multiplied with v that means voltage controlled current source the next coming to that figure c it is represented with a diamond shape with a plus and minus polar polarities that means it is a voltage source and k is multiplied with again voltage so it is a voltage control voltage source then coming to that figure d the diamond shape is represented with plus and minus polarities it is a voltage source and r is multiplied with current therefore it is a current controlled voltage source so these are the various types of sources how we are using in electrical engineering as for our wish in various notations how we express that values thank you